My next guest takes on Nishan Burrell coming up here at CES 52 on August 17th, which is going to be live on Access TV. It is Ron Stallings joining me here on the program. Ron, how are you? I'm well, man. What's going on? Nothing much, man. Where are you? What's going on with you? Where are you headed to right now? Well, I just finished a training session at the um, at my coach, for my boxing coach at Dream Team. So now I'm heading back to home base. It's about an hour, hour twenty minute drive or something like that. But this is a this is a all time schedule. You know, I'm always driving to get my coach Master Lloyd or you know Coach Jamal, the boxing coach. I'm always traveling. Okay, well, I appreciate you taking the time, man, especially during your commute. And uh, this is a big opportunity here for CES, taking on a really tough opponent. How did this all come together with you uh, fighting for CES? Man, listen, I've listen. Uh, you brought up the layoff. I've been trying to fight, you know, since you know um, the whole uh, UFC exit, and things have just been dropping one after the other, just dropping through, falling through something, something one one thing after the other. But um, the CES is like the third or fourth attempt to try to get something, and it finally came through. So that's how it came about. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, you referenced the uh, the layoff there. September 2016 was the last time we saw you fight in the cage. You've had, I think, five canceled fights. There might even be some more in there. Um, how have you dealt with that, just not being in the cage and, and you know, having this, uh, you know, these unfortunate series of events happen? Um, yeah, It's been frustrating, that's for sure. Um, like You feel like the, the, the clock ticking and everything. But, uh, um... Uh, I still got the hunger to uh, to fight and to compete and be a champion. So, you know, just one drops through, just get ready for the next one. It's kind of like, oh well, I accumulated some uh, some some skill sets. So let's build on that to the next one, next one. So I've just been building these uh, last two years. With all the bad luck, though, was there ever uh, did retirement ever cross your mind? Just uh, with everything bad that was happening with the canceled fights? No, never, never. That's great. Like you said, you got the hunger, which is uh, important. And, and like I said, this is a big opportunity. One of the cool things about this fight is it's actually going to be at the old ECW arena where they used to do the wrestling. Uh, does that add anything a little bit more, just this historic arena? Okay, I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, uh, CES, and also CES leaving, uh, you know, Rhode Island, they're going to be doing this in Philly, which is uh, kind of neat as well, so that adds a little bit more. But uh, let's talk about your opponent, Nishan Burrell, another UFC veteran like yourself. How do you feel like you match up against him? Um, I, you know, I just match up well with anybody. Tell the truth, and Nishan's, Nishan's um, he's a beast. He's a he's a tough opponent. I've seen him before on a local circuit, and then you know, he's been a UFC. The guy, the guy's tough. He's durable, so this is a good test for me. Um, definitely a, a good test to show that um, I'm still there at the at the, the height of the uh, competition. And you reference doing a lot of cross training. Where are you training right now, as far as some of the different gyms you're at? Uh, of course, with uh, Lloyd Irvin's uh, mixed martial arts, that's where the majority of it's done. Um, then, um, then I do my boxing with uh, uh, Fox Family, the Fox Clan. You know, the two, this uh, family, two professional uh, sons, both of them amazing champions. Um, they're at that top level too of uh, boxing. So I'm just surrounded by guys who are the absolute cream of the crop of their craft, and I just get to feed off of it. Get the, get the butt weapons, of course, but then it just helps me out. So I, I can take I can take that trade off. Okay, good stuff. Um, so I imagine training partners, if you're at Lloyd Irvin's, you know, James Vick, uh, you know, Sadiq Youssef, um, guys like that, Peter Pettis, uh, guys like that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, how much of a boost was that to your team, uh, seeing Sadiq uh, get that win on Contender Series? Because he was a big underdog heading into that fight, and he proved a lot of people wrong. Man, listen, I don't know why he was underdog. Me neither. Maybe, maybe it's my, crazy. Might be, I might be a bias. I might be biased. I might be biased. But I'm just being honest. Plus, I've been seeing Sadiq, you know, train and grow. Like, like I've been with the team for a long time, um, going on maybe 13 years, I think. So I've seen people come and go. So I remember, I just remember when Sadiq just appeared. Like, he had already been training for like maybe a year in the program, but then all of a sudden he just appeared. Like, man, who's this dude? Like, he's, he's pretty good. And then it was like I remember one sparring session, he was sparring, and then it's like you really saw like wow, man, he's gonna be special, like he's gonna be a beast. So we've been seeing that for years. I've been seeing that for years. So going into that fight, like that's all we expected because his last couple of fights, it was like oh man, he's going against this tough guy. Oh I don't know. Uh, uh, one before that, uh, the next coming of Conor, Conor McGregor, and then he goes out and dismantles him, and then you know some other local uh, guys who. He fights all dogs. 
Like, he doesn't get the boo-boos, the setups to make us the pad his record. He gets all, like, dogs, and he he creams them. So, yeah, I, it wasn't it wasn't a shock. Well, did you win any money on his fight like James Vick did? Uh, James that looked like he came away pretty well on that one. You know, I didn't, I've never got into that. Um, I'm going to have to get into that. Because I saw how everybody was doing well with that, but I just never – I don't understand it. You know, how they do the odds and the plus and the minus. So – I might, I might do some, uh, do some research for special for his next fight. And Vic, you know, well, Vic, Vic coming up um, uh, on the 25th, so you know, maybe I can get some homework and understand that a little better, and then I don't know, make 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 a few ends. Yeah, James seems to know what he's doing. I, I'd listen to him. He seems to know the ins and outs of it, and his picks are good too. So uh, you know, as the, as they say, Vic's picks, right? So that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, how's the weight cut going? Getting down to 85, or is this is this a welterweight fight for you? No, no, no. Unless unless I go vegan, maybe maybe I can make <laughs> both weight. I don't know, but uh, no, the weight cut. Uh, this one has never been. Uh, I'm a middle size. I guess, I guess you know, middle size, middle weight, like two ten. Normally walk around that kind of thing, so it's not like a a big thing for me. But know. but that process has already started, I imagine. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, well, is I mean, yeah. The process the process is always going on, but you you know you train it all the time, so I guess it just naturally just gets where it needs to be right no i hear you um how about uh, your corner who's going to be there with you in the cage on uh, august 17th um master lloyd and uh jamal coach jamal is two of the best coaches that anybody could ever be blessed to uh, be under you know that's like you know that's a big blessing for me being under um some tutelage that is just like like people people would pay like so much money just to get that People, should, people can move, uproot their families, and it'll pay off for them. And I get it right here in my backyard. I mean, I drive a little bit, but it's well worth the, you know, the traffic and all that stuff because you got two guys who know their craft and won't hold anything back and pour right into you, pour right into you. And if, if you listen, if you're a good student, if you internalize all the lessons, it pays off. You see Sadiq. You see uh, James Vick. You see all the jiu-jitsu uh, guys and the young kids has been with Master Lloyd since, you know, five, six years old. You see what they're doing. So that's going to be in the corner. That's who we're taking to get ready for this victory. And how do you see this fight playing out on August 17th? Sharp, precision, game plan. Um, I don't know. You might see a submission. Might might see a submission. I don't know. I don't know, but the, uh, all the tools are sharp. So wherever the fight goes, um, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we get it done. I'm you know always looking for a finish. And I know you're not looking past your opponent here, but do you have anything lined up after this just to get some momentum going and and try and uh, you know get a bit of uh, you know like, like I said some momentum here. Yeah, well, we'll see. Yeah, like this is this is like you know the first fight that you know got this far where I'm going to interview. Got ticket information, you know, so <laughs> yeah. we're going to take this fight one, you know, one fight at a time. And then hopefully, hopefully, uh, uh, Uncle Dana will be looking at him like, hey, Ron, you know that cut we got to, that somebody messed up in the back office. <laughs> I don't know how that happens. You should still be in, come on back in, man. We, we need you. You know, I'm like, hey, Uncle Dana, I appreciate that, man. I'll be more than happy to come back in and left the middleweight division i like that man that, that's great um and then uh as far as downtime uh you know i know you're a busy guy you're driving around anywhere do you, do you get in any netflix or video games or anything like that while you're not training or is it just uh you don't have any time for that netflix yeah well man i need well i don't say i need it but man it helps out like after all this traveling and training and you know the family time like i need my, my downtime so right now i'm watching um, Agents of Shield on Netflix. It's a ne- it's a newer season now. I-, I admit I don't like it. It's the, like I'm not big on the comics. I don't know if it's like following things they're supposed to be doing. But I just don't I don't like the uh, storyline. But I started the series, so you know how you can start a series and not finish it. You got to finish so, it exactly. I got to yeah. finish it. I got to finish it. And just like this is like a uh, Green Arrow. I hope Green Arrow's coming back out. Cause I, I, I watch it. I'm really not don't like it too much, but I watch it. You know, Oliver Oliver Queen, man. You know something about the show. Just don't like the storyline too much. 
we're, we're, we're looking forward to this show coming up here. Uh, CES 52. It's August 17th. Uh, Ron, uh, stay away from any ladders, black cats, broken mirrors, anything like that. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll see this fight take place on the 17th, man. And uh, just remind people where they can find you on social media. And if you have any sponsors or shout outs, the floor is yours. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. So you can follow me on Instagram at Fireboy MMA, Twitter, same thing, Fireboy MMA. And then on Facebook, Ron Fireboy Stalling. Definitely uh, look out for me there. Um, you know, I'm always looking for sponsors that, that match up with the uh, um, with the image uh, of the choir boy. So anybody wants to get put down, definitely hit me up, send me a message, or send um, send something to uh, Master Lloyd, Lloyd Irvin, MMA, Lloyd Irvin on Facebook, or um, Sucker Punch. And, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to uh, August 17th. Shout out to all the people who are uh, supporting me, my family, my wife, kids, my brother. Everybody at Lloyd Irvin's MMA and um, at Top Flight MMA, that's my school, uh, and Aberdeen, um, or Bell Camp, representing Lloyd Irvin up in Harper County. So shout out to everybody, and we're looking forward to a great show, great victory.